Okay. So for the same thing, we'll start with the new. Continue. The same. I'm just creating a one more uh, cat. That's it. same thing so <coughs> density and elasticity uh, deform plasticity so 2.7 e raised to minus 9 and deform plasticity it is engs modulus 21 00 21 00 00 and 0.3 as a poisonous ratio and yield as 180 MPA and exponential and taking 5 and uh, yield offset as 2 percent so I'll consider as 2 so the material is updated same thing section 1 solid homogeneous and the material is the same now the section is applied so material is applied to the geometry same thing assembly instance dependent or independent doesn't matter sir independent so so this is done and here um, create a set will uh, set will be created later so step general static itself continue here non-linear geometry so you if you on this it becomes a non-linear geometric analysis and automatic stabilization it is like how your uh, <coughs> solver need to stabilize the loads or dissipated uh, energy loads okay so use damping factor for previous general step so just use as five percent we generally take as five percent of overall like any damping by default it has five percent so we consider as 0 0.05 with the incremental time load as 1 and initial load time step as 0.1 okay and the number of uh, increments are 10 so others will remain the same okay now set as uh, star step is defined interaction there is no interaction load here boundary condition I will consider the same uh, encaster itself for initial static okay then for the load for the step one i'll consider concentrated force itself for the edges itself now i'll check this we'll check this only edges we'll select apply apply a load on y axis as minus 100 Newton or 1000 Newton okay so there are totally so 3 or 4 so 4 nodes that is y direction minus 1000 I am applying it will be like around 4000 okay so now you can see load and boundary condition has been applied similarly going with mesh seeding so i'll take 5 mm as an element size so apply so now you can see the elements force load everything has been done now for the job create a job as non-linear and submit it
now it is completed so the load is less as well as you can see that 4000 newton and only for number of nodes are less so it has been solved uh, very soon so the stresses are one mass stress as well as maximum principal stress you can take so one mass stress you can see that 101.4 as a maximum stress whereas a displacement is 1.25 mm so same similarly for this if i increase the load sorry go to load now at each node if i increase 1 or 5000 okay and solve again the error because same thing for the load increases the default values are very less so you cannot converge the last converged increment got the point so the last converged increment is 0.4 till 0.4 the load step has been taken apart from that it cannot take so it gives an error directly if you solve the same thing same thing i'll go for step static whereas i'll replace this or edit this by making lms off okay so off so now same thing if you solve it will solve the solution will you will get a solution complete solution because geometrical non linearity has not will not be considered at static analysis so it will gives as straight forward the result it is done right for the same non linearity for the same load you are not getting a result at all because it is out of the box when 5000 in the sense 5 into 4 20000 load is applied so your deflection is more so the solver cannot converge that point for the 20000 whereas linear static it gives because it follows only the straight rule okay so that is why the comparison